who doesn't love chocolate? This week's video is celebrating the best in British chocolate, and it's number four in my 10-part series on all the things I love about Britain. If you haven't already subscribed, please do, and be sure to click the bell button so that you will get updated when each new installment comes out. And I also would really appreciate it if you'd hit the like button for me. As evidenced in this video I shot in Heathrow Airport in January, Brits love their tea and they love their Cadbury chocolate. What's the big deal? Is it really that great? Yes. Yes, I believe it is. So let's talk about chocolate. What's the secret to the yumminess of Cadbury chocolate? Well, I believe it's all in the milk. And if you look at the label on a Cadbury dairy milk chocolate bar, obviously Cadbury wants us to think it's about the milk too. I talked in my last video about how when you drive around the British countryside, you see a lot of sheep, but don't let that fool you. You also see cows, plenty of cows up close and personal views of cows from the comfort of your own car. And even my favorite cow, the Oreo cow. I know this cow has a real name, a belted something or other, but to me, it shall ever be known as the Oreo cow. Maybe that's the cow they use to make this Cadbury candy bar. On probably my 20th visit to Britain, I decided something. British dairy products are just superior to American. Now, that's my point of view. Feel free to disagree and feel free to leave me a comment below if you do. But I just think they're kind of awesome. I decided this while I was eating just some plain store brand Greek yogurt for breakfast one morning. I'm like, this stuff is amazing. It's better than the branded Greek yogurt that we pay four times as much for in the States. Then I decided to peruse the dairy aisle of the local Morrisons, and to be honest, I was kind of envious about all the lovely creamy dairy options I found compared to what I would get in my supermarket back home in Texas. I mean, you have your whipping cream, soured cream, your single cream, your double cream, your extra thick double cream, your creme fraiche. I mean, the variety, quality and affordable pricing of these different forms of creamy deliciousness are just not comparable to what I am used to buying back in the States. This photo is of my dessert after a Sunday roast dinner at a pub in Wales. One thing I love about Brits and their desserts is that when you have a luscious dessert like this piece of chocolate cake, you can unashamedly ask for both custard and cream to go with it. This is not something we do in the U.S. In fact, we don't really do custard or cream on desserts. It's more typical to have either whipped cream or ice cream on top of a dessert. But this custard and cream stuff is seriously kind of great. Is it any wonder with all these great dairy products that the Brits came up with the most deliciously creamy chocolate then? In my humble opinion, Cadbury dairy milk chocolate is the gold standard when it comes to milk chocolate. So what if you live in the States and you want to drink super creamy milk? Well, if you talk to a dairy farmer, they'll tell you that the creamiest milk comes from Jersey cows and Guernsey cows. And unfortunately, those are pretty rare. But the lucky thing is that we can get promised land milk in the grocery store here in the States. And this is made with 100% Jersey cow milk. So it is deliciously creamy. And since this video is about chocolate, I'm highlighting the midnight chocolate flavor of Promised Land milk, although it also comes in a great strawberry flavor and plain milk flavor as well. If you want to experience the pinnacle of Cadbury-ness, then I highly recommend a trip to Cadbury World in Birmingham. These photos from their website show you that it's a wonderful peek into how Cadbury chocolatiers make their delicious chocolate. I think it's a fun outing for the whole family. These photos from when my family went there, <laughs> approximately 100 years ago, was that it's more than just a factory tour. It's also a bit of a chocolate theme park. But hands down, very chocolatey hands down, the best part of the visit is tasting lots of yummy fresh chocolate. 
And my favorite chocolate bar to eat is the Cadbury Fruit and Nut Bar. The creamy chocolate paired with the fruity raisins and the crispy almonds is just perfection. Another Cadbury best bit that I will share with you is this discovery that I made on my last trip to Britain. I saw this in the grocery store. I've gotta say, this is one of the best names. When you see a grocery product called Layers of Joy with the Cadbury name on it, I mean like, you know you have to try it. And it was a delicious trifle made with layers of chocolatey goodness. So if you are British or have been to Britain, tell me what your favorite Cadbury item is. Okay, this is the expose portion of the program. I have a very important warning to give my American viewers. Do not go into your local supermarket and buy a Cadbury chocolate bar and expect it to taste like the creamy deliciousness that I have just described to you. Because the nasty truth is that Cadbury bars sold in the U.S manufactured in the US, just don't taste the same. I read this interesting article in Business Insider about the history of the US Cadbury situation. In 1988, Hershey purchased the US operations of Cadbury. They started making their American version of the Cadbury bar. And then in 2015, something really nasty happened. Hershey took legal action to ban U.S. imports of Cadbury products, which are manufactured in the U.K. Many people, myself included, feel that the Cadbury dairy milk bar you buy in the U.S. tastes very different than the one you buy in Britain. To be fair, I have to tell you that a Cadbury spokesperson claims that the recipe and ingredients are the same, including the same milk sourced by Cadbury UK. They might say that but I'm not believing it. And if you try both the candy bars, you tell me if you believe it. So if the dairy milk bar looks like this, then you have the good stuff. But if it looks like this, you have the Hershey imposter version. Same with my favorite fruit and nut. This is the good one. This is the less delicious version. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click the logo on the next screen and do something good in the world today.